Well, neuroesthetics is essentially, and this is what people fail to understand because of the inclusion of the word aesthetics, but neuroesthetics is essentially a study devoted to understanding how the brain works. So we try to understand what are the brain mechanisms that are involved, that are engaged during aesthetic experiences, but also allied experiences, experiences of love and desire. Um, so uh, now, who has been writing about love and desire and beauty for 2,500 years? Not the neurobiologists, it is the philosophers of aesthetics and the art historians and so on. And so we rely on their work, on their uh, thinking to extract questions which are amenable for experimentation. Let me give you an example. Um, Clive Bell, who was a, an English uh, uh, art critic, who was the husband of Vanessa Bell, he asked the following question in 1914. He said, what do all things which are perceived as beautiful have in common? Now, this is a fantastic question because it's amenable to experimentation. So uh, what do uh, Pietà, Di Michelangelo, or Giotto frescoes, or Chartres uh, Cathedral, etc., what do they have in common? Now, they have never been able to answer this question, but we have answered this for them, but answered it in a, in a specific neurobiological context. So, Clivebell said, if you can answer that question, you have basically solved the problem of aesthetics. And we'll tell you, we've answered that question and solved the problem of aesthetics in a neurobiological question, uh, context. Now, what do they answer? The answer is, whatever the source of beauty, visual, musical, mathematical, moral, sorrowful, joyful, it always leads to activity in a specific part of the brain, field A1 of the medial orbital frontal cortex, which is situated about here, all right? So now you see you have got a definition, a definition which is all-inclusive. Whenever you experience be of beauty, whatever source, whatever its source, you have activity there. Now, this happens to be also the center for reward and pleasure, but then beauty is rewarding and it is pleasurable.